Someplace warm. A place where the beer flows like wine. Where beautiful women instinctively flock like the salmon of Capistrano. I'm talking about a little place called Aspen. Billionaire's Mountain is what they call it. A small four square mile town where the richest of the rich go to shred the slopes every year. If you're fortunate enough to go to Aspen, you might run into some of the wealthy, like Jeff Bezos or the Koch brothers. You'll probably see celebrities that don't own houses, but visit frequently such as Wayne Gretzky, Kim Kardashian, and Kanye West. Before we get into this video, please hit that like button and subscribe, and also share with your friends so that they will get the motivation to make their first billion. Also hit the notification bell to be notified every time I post. Starting off with some of the basic facts about Aspen. The population is 7,097, with the median age being 43 years old. The median income is around $67,000 per year, with the median home price at $1.635 million. Let's go over the cost of living in Aspen. All these numbers are out of 100, just FYI. The overall cost of living is at 291, so 291 with the average in the US being 100. So nearly triple the cost of the average US city. Grocery costs is at 119, health is 115, utilities is 89, and transportation is 78. So utilities and transportation in Aspen is cheaper than the US average. Now these low numbers don't come without their downside, and that downside is the cost of housing in Aspen. Yes, you guessed it, the cost of housing is exponentially higher than the US average. The housing number is 707 out of 100, and going back to the median home cost being at $1.635 million, while the US average is $231,000. So if you're looking to get a house up here in Aspen anywhere close to the mountain town, you better be able to fly there on your private jet, because that's the only way that could happen with the amount of money that the homes are going for here. Now let's look at the crime statistics in Aspen. Aspen is usually a pretty safe little community, considering the security and the amount of wealth that is there at one time. The violent crime rate is at a 7.6, with the US average being 22.7. The violent crime includes crimes such as murder, assault, robbery, etc. Aspen's property crime is on the high side considering all the wealth that is there, and it's at 62.5 with the US average being 35.4. These property crimes include things such as burglary, theft, and arson. On to the stuff that a lot of people go to Aspen for, and that's the climate. On average, Aspen gets around 153 inches of snow per year compared to the 38 inches for the US average. Some people love it, some people hate it. It's clearly a good thing to have when you're a winter town that brings in a lot of tourism and customers from the snow on the ground and in the air. Also in Aspen, there's on average 20 inches of rain per year, with the US average being 38 inches. The good thing that also happens in Aspen is that there are on average 246 sunny days per year. If you're going to Aspen in the summertime around July, expect the high temperature to be around 80 degrees. That's very nice for a small little town up near 8,000 feet in elevation. If you're going in the winter around January, the average low is going to be a chilly 7 degrees. Better bring your snowsuit, but you'll be warm anyways whether you're walking around town or shredding the slopes. Let's talk about the economy in Aspen. The unemployment rate is a tiny 2.2%, which makes sense because in order to afford the prices of goods in Aspen, you have to work if you live there. Simple as that. Lots of people do work in Aspen, and the majority make big bucks. Let's go over the stats on this. So 8.7% of workers make under $15,000, which a majority of that comes from teenagers or young adults working part-time jobs either during the summer or during the winter season. Small percent there. 17.6%, which is the biggest percent on these statistics, makes between $100,000 to $150,000 per year. In the average US town, $100,000 to $150,000 is more than enough to get by, and will put you in the top 0.1% in that population. But in Aspen, that's the usual right there, considering how expensive it is to live and spend up there. The second biggest stat is the 12.4% of workers that make more than $200,000. That's a great amount of money, but won't be enough if you're looking to buy a house in Aspen. To no surprise, the biggest occupation in Aspen is, take a guess, real estate. 
Real estate, renting, and leasing is the biggest occupation in Aspen due to the tourism and demand of people who want to visit. So if you're looking to make some money while living in Aspen, go become a real estate agent and sell some of those nice $20 million homes and make a solid $300,000 commission from that one house. Health is wealth, as they say. Health is obviously very important to wealthy people. They want to keep their body in as good shape as possible to keep their life as long as possible. The health cost index, which is the cost of healthcare compared to the US average, in Aspen is 94.8 compared to 100. So it's around 5% cheaper than the US average. The water quality index is the best in Aspen that you can get. 100 out of 100. The US average is 55, which is still somewhat clean, but 100 out of 100 is insanely good. The air quality index is 94 out of 100, with the US average being 58. If you compare it to Los Angeles, for example, Los Angeles is 36 out of 100, which is pretty bad and I'm sure they know it down there. Going back to the celebrity portion in the beginning, there have been a few highly ranked movies filmed in Aspen. Starting off is the most noticeable, and that is Dumb and Dumber featuring Jim Carrey. So where are you headed? Aspen. Mmm, California. Beautiful. Second is Furious 7 from the Fast and Furious series. And third is a movie called For Love of the Game. How you doing, Ace? Anybody been on base? Nobody. Let's talk about housing down in Aspen, because it gets pretty expensive depending on what you want. We're going to talk about three of the most expensive homes in Aspen and three of the cheapest homes in Aspen. This video was recorded in March of 2021, so if you're watching this on a later date, they might be sold by now. First house we have in Aspen is on Red Mountain Road with a small price of $49,500,000. This mansion is crazy with 5 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, and over 19,000 square feet. It's also on two and three fourths acres, but that's mostly just for the house itself. Second house you have is on Carroll Drive and has a small price of $46 million. This I believe is a multi-family mansion with 17 bedrooms and 19 bathrooms with 24,452 square feet. Imagine having to clean all 19 of those bathrooms. Couldn't be me. Well, right now actually, I'll be doing it for my mansion later in life. This one is on a crazy 110 acres, which is plenty of secluded room for your mansion. The third and final expensive house on this list is a little cheaper than the previous houses, and this one is on Buttermilk Lane at $29,995,000. Seven beds and 10 baths at 17,762 square feet. Pretty nice house at $30 million. And this house is also on eight acres. Now, if you want something more reasonable, We'll start you off on a townhouse on Woods Road about 8 miles from Aspen where you pay $335,000 for a 400 square foot room. $335,000 basically for a hotel room, not even in Aspen. Prices go way up the closer you move to Aspen. The other thing on top of this townhouse is the $9,000 HOA fee per year. Going next to the cheapest house that isn't a townhouse, it's going to be a little 770 foot shack for $795,000. Think of that, a 770 foot shack for $795,000. Where else are you gonna see prices like that? The good thing about this one is that it is on 210 acres, which is pretty amazing in Colorado, let alone Aspen. The third and final cheap house is the closest thing to a regular house, which is a 3,055 square foot house going for $3.35 million. Still not cheap at all, but it's the cheapest that I could find. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and please hit that like button and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell to get notified every time I post. You need to, I'm telling you, you need to engage with this video, so you'll start seeing more of my luxury content on your feed.
which I know will help motivate you to make your first billion dollars. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next video.